And good evening, everybody. I promised we would be live again after a short break after the Northern Lights season. And I'm just looking at the screen to see that we have an audience. So yes, hello, everybody. We are live from the Sami Bridge here in Uchoki in the far north of Finnish Lapland. And it is the time of the year when the Teno River starts to melt and the water, the ice starts opening. And we are also live from the air with the drone today. And I will show you a little bit what to expect. And there is a very special reason why I came here to show you this today. And we have Sarah here and Dennis, hi buddy, hope you're okay. And Vincent from South Africa, good uh, evening to you as well. So now the uh, drone is looking in the opposite direction. So it's uh, the bridge is behind the drone. And as you can see, we do have uh, quite a bit of open water. And if we go to take a look over there, and I need to be careful because there is a power line. Um, you can see the, on the right, there is the Uchoki River coming out which is uh, coming into the main Teno River. And that one is already open. So it's creating this extra flow of open water. And now we can take a look. We are looking into the Norwegian side here. And now we are slowly turning to show you the beautiful Sami bridge here in Uchoki. And now on the left of the image, we have the village of Uchoki. And let me maybe take a little bit of extra height to show you the village. So you can see the river on the left side of the image, the Uchoki River, and a small part of the village here. And now we are going to get to the other side of the bridge. A lot of birds here. Checking that we have passed the bridge. We don't want to have any problems here. And we are looking at the beautiful Teno River here. on the other side of the bridge. If you have any questions, I will be answering them. So just uh, let me know in the comments. Let's uh, look down to see if we have passed the bridge. And we have indeed So now we are looking at the Eilegas mountain here in Uchoki on in front of the image. And you can see also the transmission tower there on top of the Eilegas river. And Maria is asking how far we are from the ocean. Uh, we are about 70 
70 kilometers from the ocean and the direction of the ocean would be, now we're looking into Finland. And if we are turning there, now we are looking into Norway and basically behind those hills, some 60, 70 kilometers, we have the Arctic Ocean. Desiree, yes, we still have uh, quite a bit of ice and Safraz, now we are watching uh, Norway. Rikele is asking how is the weather and the weather is, well, it's cloudy, not, uh, not too much wind today. And it's about zero degrees. It's uh, promised to get cold again during the night and the next few days, I think we are going to stay with uh, um, negative temperatures. So we might still have some ice for a little while longer. Um, let's look back at the river and I will go down to the level of the ice because I actually wanted to show you something. So it's a tradition here to um, try to guess what day the ice is going to break open here at the bridge and the locals put a flag here so that you can decide because obviously the other side is uh, always melting faster so the flag has been put at a place where usually the ice stay, stays a little bit longer. I don't think we can see it yet from this distance. But let me get closer from the flag. Yes, I can see it here. So we need to go lower. And we are getting closer to the flag. Well, there is no wind now. So it's hard to see that it's actually a French flag. So I don't know if they've put that in my honor for moving to Uchoki or if it's just a coincidence, but they have put the flag today. And I was very amused to see that it's actually a French flag. Well, now you can see it a little bit better. So as you can see, Especially under the bridge, the ice is already quite weak, so we might, uh, well, I'm not going to check it out by foot, and that's why I am showing this with the drone. So now you guys have to put me in the comments when you think that this flag is going to start floating down uh, to the ocean. And uh, maybe there will be a little surprise for the winner. And Safra as well, I don't think it's a really small flag. It's just that I'm really far away from the flag because I don't want to uh, have any problems here with the drone under the bridge. Uh, so yeah, that's... Uh, that's what we do here in Safraz. The flag is now more visible. And Sarah, do I miss France? Um, well, because of all this COVID nightmare, I do miss my family. I haven't seen them for almost one and a half year. So it's starting to be a little bit long 
and I'm really hoping that traveling is going to be possible in the near future and safe also uh, for them to see me. Eggplants are always nice. Stephen, glad that you like this footage and Shafres, I hope you are able to visit this summer. Um, really hoping that the Finnish authorities are going to allow a little bit more traveling in the very near future. Bonsoir Claude et bonsoir les francophones. And Mary is guessing May the 18th for the ice breaking. So if you have other guesses, just let us know in the comments. And by the way, please give the thumbs up on YouTube. It really allows the video to reach more people and that is really, really helpful to me. So if you're watching on YouTube, please click on this uh, thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to the channel already, please do subscribe. Uh, that really helps me a lot to grow the channel and to make this beautiful place more visible for when we have uh, the possibility to welcome you guys again. And um, well, it's uh, always uh, nice to see more people watching. So yeah, uh, Stephen is guessing May the 15th and Sue is guessing May 14th. And Zoe, it's also nice to see you as well. Tina is at home right now, but I'm pretty sure she's missing, uh, she's watching too. Uh, Ingrid, hello, and Safraz is guessing 22nd of May. So, yeah. I actually don't remember last year how it was. Last year we had pretty cold and longer winter than we have this year. I mean, at this time of the year last year, we were still standing on snow and now as you can see, um, there is not so much snow left here in, uh, in Ichuki. And uh, let's take a look at the uh, beautiful French flag here under the Sami bridge here in Uchuki. I think this is a pretty cool view. And we do have indeed Tina here on the chat. So hello, Tina. Uh, I think we have seen enough of the flag. So let's take a look. to the other side here, if we still have network, I mean, reach of the drone. Um, the image looks still pretty good. So now we are going, and I need to make sure to stay on the Finnish side of the border. which is just on my right. So as you can see, there is quite some open water over there. And now if we turn around, we are Looking into Norway here again. And now we are again looking at the bridge. 
and the beautiful Isle Gas mountain. So for those of you who just joined, I was uh, showing you the flag that they have put uh, just under the bridge and when this flag is going to fall in the water it will basically be the day that we consider that the river has opened, the ice has broken. So if you haven't put your guess yet just put it in the comments uh, below to tell us when do you think that um, the ice is going to break here at the bridge. And Sarfraz is asking if this bridge is the border crossing and if the border is open. Um, you are not allowed to go into Norway if you don't have, I don't know how they call it, a valid reason or something like that. Um, well, basically you're not allowed to go into Norway when you're just a regular person like me and going to photograph puffins is not considered a valid reason for the Norwegians, so I'm stuck on this side of the border. But, well, this magpie here has just crossed the border without any problems apparently. Um, so no, sadly the border is not open at this, uh, at this stage. And I'm looking at the drone, sorry about that. Let's do something else. Hey, I've got a company coming here. Surprise, surprise. And in the meantime, I need to fly the drone back to me hello I am live uh, my way I just need to focus you can speak to are you on the on the drone yes oh, there is the drone so hello? we are safe and the drone is warning for the low battery. Sorry about that. I decided to give you a surprise visit because I saw so many people saying hi. You me. need to speak next to me because it's this microphone here. So yeah, we are just landing this drone on my car no close enough <laughs> yeah <laughs> so i hope you enjoyed this um little adventure can you still see us yes maybe you just come in the, in the image so that's tina for those who uh, just joined and Ella, nice to see you as well. And Phil, hi. And Safraz, ah, you've been to Kilpisjarvi. So next time you need to come to this side of, uh, of Lapland. And Sarah has guessed 13th of May for the river opening. And coincidentally, that's also my guess. Uh -huh. I but have not even thought about you it. You have yet. not thought about it. No. And uh, well, but I was thinking that I already won because they've put a French flag to... Uh, <laughs> Decides when the uh, when the river is opening. Um, and Justin, 
Hi. Yes, they're all big areas and I think the flag is a little bit too close to the bridge and that's the weakest area, I think. So usually uh, they put yeah. it a yes, few sure. meters upstream. Um, yeah, if you're wondering now, the camera is pointing um, to the upstream of the river. So the river is flowing from left to right, like that. And now this is watching into the what is it northwestern direction. And we have, uh, you can see on the screen as well, the Sami village. I don't know if it's very visible, but there are, how many huts are there? Two? Mm, one. Can, that, the, the one on the left is the, it's the toilet. Ah. So just in front of the bridge pillar, where is it? Uh, there we have a traditional hut. I think it's peat. It's called uh, gammi. Gammi in Finnish. Finnish and Sami. Yeah, it comes from a Sami word, Sa but I'm not really sure what the word. And yeah, the other one is the toilet. It's just the toilet. So. Yeah. Who else do we have here? And also this July, the week we usually have the salmon festival on Saturday. This year it will be a whole week full of different kind of things happening. And on Saturday evening it will be here, I think it's here, there will be a Sami music concert. Oh. Local Sami artists playing and singing. That's very nice, so we will be there. Maybe uh, we, we can maybe. stream it if it's allowed. We I can. don't know about copyrights, but we will we can check, check yes. it out. And that would be something nice to show to the world. Sami village in the blizzard, says Phil. <laughs> yes, yeah. when you visit us here in the winter, uh, we actually take you here as part of uh, the village tour that is organized and you will come to hear some of the stories here with the guides. And yes, in winter it can be a blizzard as well. Yes. The, the concert will be on Saturday 10th of, of July. July. Okay, 10th of July. So that's a good thing to know. Put it in your calendars. And Ingrid, I'm happy that you like the live stream, of course. And Justin, very beautiful area indeed, yes. Um, just reading everything. I was in my, I'm actually on my way to bake. Ah, you're going to prepare. So, yes, Tina bakes and I think it's pretty tasty. <laughs> so if you're watching from Uchuki, can you still place your order or is it too yes. late? Yes, no, no. Yeah, there's time until tomorrow. Uchuki people, place your orders for munkis. Yes. These are traditional donuts that you ate on Labor Day, Labor Day yes. in Finland. So I have placed my order already. So <laughs> yeah. But if you're watching from Uchuki, message Tina for your donuts order. So I think we are going to say good evening. It is here quarter past eight in the evening and as you can see the sun is very far from setting. I haven't checked today the sunset is at around 11 I think. Let me check. Yeah at quarter past 10, sorry, and the sunrise is at 4 a.m. already. And if you have been checking my Insta stories last night, I posted a picture at half past 11 in the night, which was not dark at all. Yeah. And on 18th of May, we Around. get the midnight sun starting. So it means that 
the sun will just stay there above the horizon and start climbing again at 1 a.m. So we get 24 hours per day. Bright sky. Lots of time to explore. Yes, so stay tuned, as I promised. No more northern lights until the end of August, but I am going to do this kind of things. And definitely when something interesting starts happening with the river, I will be live streaming it. I don't think we get huge blocks of ice. The ice looks pretty thin already. Uh, but still, we probably have some kind of ice slabs floating around like we did last year. So we will be filming this and sharing it again as a live stream. And Phil has booked a trip to see the puffins in the UK. That's really, really nice. I'm very jealous, Phil, because we're <laughs> not allowed to do it here in Norway. And we have Nikki from Liverpool and Jana. Good evening to you as well. So everybody, it's been uh, really fun to be here with all of you guys. Stay tuned, subscribe to both the YouTube and Facebook channels and you will be notified then when we go live again. So hopefully when the ice is breaking and soon I'm hoping to show you a little bit of wildlife as well. As you can see, I have quite a nice mobile setup for all these live streams. Yeah. So time to pack, go to eat something. Still doing the sauna thing even in the in the spring. All the time. And stay tuned and take care of yourselves. See you on Bye. the next one.